so the form that was around that containment pit has been removed and now we got a surveyor uh, a surveyor of some sort getting his coordination down on the record from what seemed to be the center of that containment pit as the carpenters and masons remove the last pieces of wood that was the form of that I'm using that uh, those same bags that will be hoisted up and then placed into trucks for removal yeah but that's a surveyor right there no doubt he's got his sights up on its tripod and he's He's laying his coordinates. So, there haven't been any movements on building a bomb. Put together that tower crane. And these guys are on lunch now. So I, I don't know if they'll make any moves today. But as it stands, it's still the uh, arm. Um, it's still the truck crane that's got its, its hoist. It's block and tackle centered right over right over that very spot
I can't believe those that those actually got motors now. But he's pedaling that one up. <laughs> There's no motor power behind that. Only gears and cogs. Cogs and gear. Are cogs gear or are gears cogs? <laughs> go from something that appears to be in the process of being well built to something that was well built and needed repair and that's not a granite marble texture you see there someone came up with a bright idea of repairing this one of two fountains here at the Stephen Schultzman Library on 5th Avenue in New York City with paint and cement. The top of it is painted and cemented. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you tell me. As you look up on that graceful lady there, You tell me, any one of you marble workers out there, if this fountain couldn't have been sealed in a more preservative manner. And my, my video capture might not be doing the cheap job justice, so <laughs> if you ever visit the Stephen, <laughs> The Stephen A. Suarez. Suarezman building, which is the New York Public Library repository. You ride on Fifth Avenue, you have to have seen those two brothers guarding this building. And it looks like it's only the stone lions that are guarding this building <laughs> at present time. Because the marble of the fountain Nice marble color, huh? The marble of the fountain. Fountains. Are under attack. But what do I know, right? That old man is crying, baby. Yeah, he's crying. Not only because they decided to cut his nuts and his cock off. But look at that. You can see the marble around the rim. But this entire fountain is marble. I don't know, maybe the bottom where water settles, you know? You could have put that type of ceiling on it. But that had to have been a better way to preserve this historic fountain. The premier, one of the premier part, because the lions, yeah, of this building is also a premier part. But just these fountains, the representative of male and female as the energy flow of water, nature flows. And what it's flowing into is not pure marble anymore. It's paint and cement covering beautiful 
marble. Cheap, 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 cheap. Repair that I was been done and could have been done with much thought. <laughs> I think these statues <laughs> on the base of this pole, this flagpole here, is given more thoughts to preservation than who's to ever approve that work. Who did? <laughs> And that's a tour over there. He's giving a tour. The economy has to work, right? So the train has to leave at 12 o'clock. 12.30, 1 o'clock. The boat has to leave at 12 o'clock. All this stuff has to work. You don't have to go one time. Right? Yeah. 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 That's what happens. I work for a company. And in the lobby of the new train, and I always have a big clock. That's not a president. That's not a president at all. That'll be like a writer or a, a scientist. <laughs> the funny thing is that in Brooklyn, they are mo removing a, a, a plaque from a tree that the daughters of the Confederates put on the tree. So it could have been Robert E. Lee, you know? He's American. Maybe he accepted after the fact that this is one America and we don't need to be confederate. <laughs> Have a nice day, bro. <laughs> so, he's sitting there writing, as you can see, at the base of Mr. Dodge's statue. So I ask him, who's the statue of and he has no idea who he's sitting next to writing <laughs> or so he says <laughs> but he's writing so i guess dodge is inspiring writers to this day without them even knowing <laughs> and they removed the stage and uh, the screen but Bryan Park has its own screen. That, that stage and screen belong to HBO. So they remove it because the, the movie showing season is over. Here at, uh, what, the 22nd of August. You'd think it would go into September or something, but I, the kids are going back to school, so I guess... Eh. I don't even know if they consider kids going to school anymore. Yeah, you, 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 I, I just found out that um, cursive writing is not even required in school anymore. <laughs> you know, they say, "Give me a signature." You, 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 you punch yes in a in a 
computer generated question <laughs> questionnaire for everything now you i guess you'll do that for your will and your mortgage <laughs> you know you'll do it for everything yeah so they removed that screen but brian park like i said has its own so when they whatever they ho they hold any kind of event i guess they're gonna use the smaller stage and it actually can be expanded so it's not that small it's not small at all it's as big as the event requires and show you a few of that and some of that <laughs> so one one Vanderbilt or I would say Grand Vanderbilt basement pit containment pit we know it's not gonna be a fountain right or do we no not that low down I don't expect that maybe on the floor up you will get something on the level of that which is the fountain here at Bryan Park Yeah. Well, God forbid they try to cheapen this fountain. See? This fountain actually was at that end of the park with Mr. Bryant. Yeah. It was there. When it was originally erected, it was dismantled and moved here. I guess it's so beautiful that it and Mr. Bryan couldn't exist in one place. But you have a little, a little sweat in there, but it's maintained. You don't see any cheap cement and cheap paint. Covering the beauty of this, of this fountain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't. So I don't know why the, on those smaller ones that's in front of a world-class, no question about it, a world-class library had to be cheapened. Why that had to be is beyond me. But, hey, I'm not in charge. <laughs> My dad was like, well, <laughs> Just chilling out, our brother. Listen to some tunes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At first, I couldn't tell if that was a girl or a guy. Still can't. There are more things you could take to grow more here, right? I don't know. There's so many things going on nowadays. We're cheapening our historic sites. I just heard a guy said. He told a story, and you can hear part of the story being told in the background. Little snippets. But he ended the story that Times Square, the meaning of the ball being dropped is new and renewed thing. So for anything in Times Square to be, was to be, if anyone wanted to preserve the aesthetics of anything that is Times Square, it would actually be doing Times Square an injustice. Because Times Square means just that, renewal according to uh, how it's needed. So no buildings, no nothing. Just I guess just the ball being dropped every year. 
and maybe that shouldn't be preserved either according to him maybe next year or the year after we'll drop a cow or we'll drop a dog you know or maybe we'll just drop our pants and moon the american flag oh sounds crazy huh well there's a flag in times square that represents that represents the four branches of our military that had been covered this year for the 4th of July and Fleet Week and the emblems of those four service departments of our protection units is still not back on that building. Still not up. Still not up. We don't have a preservation or a catch tank around our war machine you know? and war machine doesn't mean that we go to war war machine just means that the strength and the vigor of the greatest military force on this planet on any inhabited life given planet in this universe is preserved no? that we fall in love and stay in love in that with those things okay no problem that are inspiring to us as americans and Americans doesn't mean that you live in the United States. American means you are part of the Americas. Yes, there was people living here when Christopher Columbus came, but came. But the Americas has progressed in a more life-giving fashion than any other part of the world. And the system the leaps and bounds, the boundaries, and the constitution that governed us through this progressive state has to be respected and preserved. Yeah, he says, the symbol of that ball is that everything is new. Yeah, that building is the Harold Building. No one is a tenant in there but Walgreens. Yeah. <laughs> but the ball sits atop it. It serves a purpose. So just because we can build another building that means that we should tear it down. We should use resources that could be placed somewhere else. And I'm going out. I just want to show you. Today is August 23rd, 2017. You look at my videos, I already taking video earlier this year of the recruitment center of the military lacking its flag lacking well maybe not at that time I didn't show it lacking its emblem but as you will see in a minute It is lacking the symbol of the Marines, who we say are the first one in and the last one out. The Army, mm. Air Force, <laughs> and Navy, who stands off sore and makes sure that if you're a Masson, 
those big outs are going to action. See? No emblem. Look at it. Now, who would be so disrespectful as to, even if it needs repair, who would be so disrespectful as to remove all four emblems to remove all four emblem and not only remove the emblem and not put it back for months and months in and months out you know but it says US armed with no F <laughs> horses <laughs> recruiting station you know who would be the same people who pulled up the truck as I am asking that question. <laughs> ironically, 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 the same people who <laughs> just pulled up the truck to block my question, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess bad forces has whatever it is. Yeah. Should I ask her what justice she wants? The very fact that I'm giving her airplay and she gave me the raspberry tells me that her... Eh, I guess no plight is too small anyway. But there you go. No emblem, no nothing. And they just graced us probably about three weeks ago with removing the white sheet that was over the flag itself. No lights is placed in this, in this flag anymore. Mm -mm. So it looked like they're bringing in building material. But I, my question is, why couldn't the emblems stay up there? Why couldn't it be this, this, this monument be... Respected. Donald Trump in town? Why couldn't it be respected to the point where we see the F up there in forces? You know? Hmm? Why couldn't it? See? Medal of Honor recipients of New York. That's what that says right there. Medal of Honor recipients. The boys who got the Medal of Honor, their name is there. Why is this place blocked up for all these months? Why is, has this place been blocked up since 4th of July? Since Fleet Week? Why? Why? Why is there an omen of this truck that the workmen and the material that supposedly be, is fixing this this monument, this national monument, it's not just a state monument, it's a national monument. Why did this truck, as, a, as, as some kind of omen or something, just pull up in front of my question? And then this lady shows up talking about she want justice. Let me see if I'm laughed at or something. I'm gonna ask her, just, just, just because she pulled up while I'm asking these questions and she's talking about justice, I don't know her. So let's ask her and see if we can get some kind of coherent answer in front of the New York City Police Department here at Times Square, USA. What have they done to you, ma'am? For fighting for my rights, I was you were what? I can't really see. Could you tell? Oh, she don't want to tell. See, that's the way of people today. 
But the truck is still standing in front of that. I asked her. You see, I asked her. He didn't, he he didn't even say. Fight their own battles. Fight your own battles, NYPD. Fight your own battles. So, yeah, well, before she draws away from this, because she switches from one thing to the other. But I'm talking about that battles. monument. Battles. That national monument. Why has it been covered? Why all these months back and forward? You know? And they're saying that they're fixing this and they're fixing that. Hmm? Why? You guys, you guys don't, you don't, you don't think you should get up and start asking why? Hmm? Is it because our flag is on that building? I mean, there are some places where the 4th of July is, is not even allowed to be celebrated. It's not even allowed to celebrate the 4th of July going down Main Street. In some places in this country today, those communities are not allowed to grant permits for a march celebrating 4th of July. No, that's great, right? <laughs> I don't know. But there's a reason for everything. 